G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're just out here in Coburn Sound today trying to catch some squid. Take you through how we fish for squid in the sound, show you what we use and yeah, enjoy the video. Cool. There you go. Literally as I turn the GoPro on. Yeah. Oh no, I turned it on. Oh, oh hey. beauty! <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's the one I bought yesterday. That's the Cephia Clinch Chartreuse with a bit of a... Uh, what do they call that in there, mate? Uh, that little... Oh, the little flash. The yeah. flash boost, hey. The flash boost. So that's a little um, flashy panel that's on a spring in there. We've got the nibs. He's uh, part one of the Australia Day Feast. Mate, can has. Tough, oh, decent one, hey. Well, yeah, he's not a bad squid. I fish pretty light drag, so I don't have full hooks on him. There he is. Not a bad little summer squid. Cool. Ink of the net, not yeah, in the boat. Um, pro tip from a bit of experience is if you don't want the squid inking on the boat, when you get in the water, just shake it up and down like that, force it to ink. Once you start seeing water come out and it's clear and there's no more ink, then put, bring it on board and you'll have no problems. Yeah, nice little hood. Beauty. Probably what, 17 centimetre hood? Yeah. Perfect eating size. Hey, look at the colours nice on it. Perfect eating size. Yeah. So these are the Ikashima spikes. So pretty much there's a little notch in the head. You want to go just behind that notch and then on the angle, just up through, straight away dead. Huh? So they're from Yamashita. Great little tool, keeps your, your squid nice and fresh. Alrighty. Number two for the drift. A little small one, this guy. Still a decent heat up. Or are you going to play the game? Uh, no, nah, not playing games with squid. Paramitsu doing the job again. It's a better one, Mr. McVeigh. So a little bit better this one. Took some drag. Oh, it's that's nice what we to, like to hear. It's nice to hear the old Stella sing. Look at it. Oof. Stella's for squids, mate. Horses for what. courses. You deal with yours. And I'll this one up. Yeah, I got a little tucker here. Still a good eater. Yeah, a little eater, a little baity if not. Oh, that is a better one, hey. Yeah, it's a bit better. Look at the tenties. In fact, that's a lot better of a squid than what we normally get. <laughs> that's a hood. That's a proper that's one. That's a better squid. Again on that 3-0 Haramitsu. Doing the damage, hey. It's that red, mm, green, mate. that kind of watermelony colour. Find Coburn, your naturals, your reds. have always been where the money is. Easy. There you go. Killer. It's a proper little Coburn squid. Only a little one, but uh, still Wasn't fantastic Wasn't very hungry, eating, barely mate. touched him. These are the ones you can do the stuffed hoods with. Yeah, these are perfect for stuffed hoods. Or, if you're looking for some really killer snapper bait, something like that, chuck that out on a pair of 6.0 snails and you should mate, get yourself a snapper. There's not a snapper out there that would refuse that. No. Actually, I'll show you the other method, the old karate chop. So just straight behind the head. Goodbye. Perfect. <laughs> so we're using a size 3. 3 oh jigs just in all different colors and different brands i'm using mainly haramitsu they're probably my favorite that's the haramitsu lemon it's done the damage a couple times it's a new jig so it's got only one mark on it so far and then i think jason's using a bit of yamashita and the shimano clinch jigs yeah so a fair variety on the boat today so a variety of brands colors and styles and also on a different day you will run a variety of sizing as well you'll find a lot of people like to fish three and a half. I find that fish is a lot slower. Fish smallest you can possible to, you know, your drift and your swell and all that, making sure you're getting on the bottom. So that's yep. the best advice I can offer you. Just above the bottom, hey, not yeah, on the just, bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you get weed on your jig, they're not taking it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good sign if you're getting weed on your jig, you're in the right area. Jason's just hooked up. What do you got, Jase? Oh, I've got a squid, mate. It's a uh, southern calamari. Tell you what. Yeah, it's a better squid. Yeah. Let's bring him on in. Oh, let him from behind. Oh, good squid, Joe. It's a beauty. Great squid, mate. So pretty much, I'm using a 3-0 jig at the moment. It's pretty much what I'm going to do. After I've let it out, I take up that slack so I can fill my jig. And then I give it a whip. Let that sit. Let that slack line, let the line go back down, and then wait for a minute, five, ten seconds, take that slack up again, and then I'll whip it. So when I'm whipping it, I'm just trying to raise it a metre, metre and a half off the bottom, just 
rises up and then let it sink back down. Sort of like gives a bit of a panicked action and but yeah, and that's when the sort of squid notice it will hit it. A little bit, what's the size of this one you reckon? A little bit smaller? Oh, that's it. Ah, was a good one, right? Here we go. Here we are. Easy as that. That's yeah, on the go. Yamashita. The Yama in the red. No. There's one. Yeah, that's good. Thought it was sinking a bit quick. <laughs> Making a comeback. Have the 6-2 ladies back. If he gets this, it's 6-5. Is that one? That's one as well. Yeah, oh, and this one's. Yeah, yeah, got him. Oh, it's three way. It's on the Haramitsu lemon again. Find any time. The fish is a bit slow. The lemons always do the trick. Well, you can pick every colour on the spectrum and it can catch a squid yeah. on its day. Hey, man. When we're squidding, the kind of ground we're looking for is you're looking for weed patches, not just necessarily a giant weed bed. We find giant weed beds can be not very concentrated, whereas your smaller patches are. So really nice ground would be for me, finding nice broken ground. So weed patch, we just sand onto another patch or a patch onto smaller patches surrounding it. Uh, we find a lot easier to fish, but pretty much as long as there's weed underneath, your boat, then you should be catching squid. How's that? Oh, good little morning out on the water. Got what we needed, got what we came for, which is the Australia Day feed. It's what you want. <laughs>